Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot. And in this whole video, we're going to look into Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well uh, Virgo Rising Weekly General Tarot reading August 9th up until August 15th, 2021. And uh, in this video, I'm going to use the Elemental Dignities technique, which uh, will allow me to read in pairs and even in triples if so one wishes and uh, right now if you do want to learn this yourself the course is already uh, available so to speak it's a one hour course accompanied with a pdf uh, handbook and uh, right now is on a sale for a 40 dollars additionally to it if you do wish uh, to take my full tarot class or you do wish a uh, personal reading with me you can check out my website which you are going to find into the description down below and there um, you can view either or both of uh, either or both of these services and also purchase uh, purchase either or both of them and finally if you're enjoying the content here on the uh, on the youtube channel make sure you subscribe uh, for the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with our weekly uploads so, uh, first card for you, uh, Virgo, that will be uh, the Hangman, followed by the second one, which is uh, the Ten of Cups. Moving next, we have uh, the Devil card. Oops. And uh, the last one, the last Prime card, there are going to be four more cards. Uh, that will be the... Um, Queen of Wands. So, it's a pretty interesting... Uh, it's a pretty interesting week. And it seems that at the uh, very first portion of the week here uh, when we do have uh, these two let me see can you see the cards well yeah uh, when we do have these two uh, miraculously stuff are going to resolve themselves on their own accord and we will see why when i go to scrutinize the cards but you are going to feel very well about it uh, to a point where you may be even flabbergasted that this is happening to you but literally you know things are gonna get to a, a very very good turn to a point where you may kind of like uh, find yourself or thinking about yourself being uh being almighty having or having the, the, the capacity to do whatever you want and uh, then a person steps up for you is that person connected to to that drive or not we will see when we draw the additional cards but that person could be either a very valuable ally of yours or it could be very fearsome enemy again we are going to see that when we draw the additional cards for now let's uh, start with the hangman which is the start of the week here and it is accompanied by the knights of cups so we do have these uh uh, these two cards, passive uh, supporters, and they are pretty clear. They do uh, ululate about that the time had came. So take it that way. You had a dream, right? Regardless of what that dream is. And I'm talking about a global dream, being happy, being successful, being lucrative, etc. But by that point, you may not have the right circumstances, the right means or the right support to accomplish that dream well these conditions are now manifesting and that's why these two cards are talking that the time had came for that dream to be start initiated and um, the good thing about uh, these two cards Virgo it is that you don't have to do much about okay um, in fact, at that point, all you got to do is to let things go and the circumstances are going to align themselves on their own accord in your favor. It's just there is no mistaking that thing. However, should your uh, performance or rather like should your contribution be required into these circumstances, say new, uh, new introduction, say new love or, or even a current one, you know, whatever your dream is all about, should your contribution is required, then you got to put a really hard work behind because these two cards here, uh, aside from saying that the blockages or, uh, you know, the, the deprivation of lack of, uh, of opportunities is now over for those opportunities that come about something has to be done it if has to be done from you you should not spare any resources into it because with the knights of uh, cups 
as a um, as a catalyst that car pretty much speaks that your results are going to be reciprocal to your efforts small efforts small results no efforts no results colossal efforts colossal results and also another thing is going to start taking place and it may be uh, a bit uh, it may a bit differentiate from the grand narrative here but that is the perception or the understanding of love and what the dream love is all about it will start happening slowly but steadily and it could either go contrary to what you believe by that point or it could transcend what you have already believed up until that point whichever whichever the case here for you virgo uh, you will be way more uh, how can it's not even determined but it is synchronized or harmonious about uh, how can i say about how how you are going to end up happy and what kind of a person you want to side with so you can end up happy and uh, strive toward that happiness it is what you are going to do here with the ten of cups and it is accompanied oh my god with the eight of cups we do have a passive supporters once more and they do speak all about the site for the future straight away it is like building up a wall behind your back and forgetting all about the misfortune forgetting all about the heartaches the firings the the failures as well from the past and determine yourself to be happy from now on moving forward uh, or therefore after in the future and uh, nobody or nothing at that point will be able to take away that from you for uh how can i say for the perspectives that you have acquired here at the hangman are gonna be rock solid they are going to be indomitable they they will simply not gonna be able to be swiped away and uh, that will make you be very happy and it, you don't even have to have more at that point you are just going to be happy of what you have you are going to be happy with the person you are with if you are if you are single you're going to be happy being single that doesn't mean that you are going to stop looking for or being closed for anybody else it's just you're going to learn being happy by yourself until somebody come you're going to be happy at your job or happy to find another job but it's just the happiness is going to spew from you and it will be very contagious by the way it will be contain it will uh, pretty much uh, contain everybody that it is around you and for that you may expect many people to seek your company at that particular stage of the week and right after that we do have the devil which is oh my god catalyzed with the six of cups these are a passive friends and these two cards uh, that is when uh, Dao has uh, the option and uh, the the means and the opportunity to do what Dao pleases you do as you please and that is how it's going to be you do as you please career wise you do as you please relationship wise and you don't have to even get away with it for it's going to be faced with your very pleasant uh, pleasant emotions from the other side from your co-workers from your boss from your uh, person of interest as well or from your lover at that particular point these two cards here are speaking that you are to transform your daily routine um, well, it branches up if we are talking about career or if we are talking about relationship. But we're gonna, but you are going to branch your routine career-wise into dealing up with stuff in a such more pleasurable or pleasant a fashion. Your chores will become exciting, uh, exciting enterprises. You know, your enterprises will become a point of creativity. It's simply you are going to uh, blast them through or blast through them relationship wise i mean a friendship circle even love if you will uh, again very very pleasant times and should we talk about love here that's these two cards are speaking for that insatiable drive or unstoppable drive the two people have toward toward one another because their emotional connection it's supported as well with a physical connection so it's kind of like liking each other simultaneously emotionally spiritually and physically the union in between mind body and as well soul 
And uh, at the end of the week, this person steps in and uh, it's catalyzed ooh, by the King of Cups. It says Knight here, but that is King into the traditional deck. So we do have a active enemies and um, that will be a person who withdraws, uh, withdraws an offer or a presence. It is because you already have what you what you want and there are two ways they either got jealous of your happiness and like a uh, like an angry kid they say oh i don't want to play with you anymore you know or simply they will understand that their place it's not among you anymore for you don't need them neither they need you as well that is kind of like the the um the coldness or getting colder uh, of uh, of either a friendship or a partnership here that we have, which is gonna lead to the uh, to uh, an opportunity, not opportunity, but something like an offer or a helping hand being subsided from their behalf. Now that individual here, the Queen of Wands, it could be a man, it could be also a woman, but they are. Uh, very in tune with life they do know where the wind is blowing from all right and uh, i don't advise you to be enemy of theirs because they do know your weaknesses they do know your strengths too and uh, that makes them very unpredictable and very fearsome enemy knowing you how you're going to react what you're going to do they're going to be always one step ahead of you so if you can if uh, that is for that is about severance i mean 99% the way I see it, if you and you should approach that severance in a very milder fashion. You do not want to make enemy of uh, of this one, but that severance is going to open up a, sp a space for you to be even more happy. So you know you shouldn't grieve for it. And in fact, I don't think that you should that you will because by that by the point the severance comes about, which is towards the end of the week, um, you are gonna be. Uh, you are going to be with the fullness of life, okay, and uh, very, very happy of the circumstances you are finding yourself at. So that being said, uh, Virgo, that was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, uh, August 9th up until August 15th, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.